HSBC just initiated Tesla with a rare bearish rating overnight, citing concerns over delivery capabilities and stock valuation. Shares are down 5.5% today. Speaking of EVs, Bernstein is taking a look at the impact of the clean energy transition across multiple different kinds of industries this week. They're actually looking at agriculture, where they're warning key machinery names could be at risk thanks to a reduction in corn ethanol acreage. Uh-huh. Joining us to discuss that, Chad Dillard, a senior analyst for U.S. Machinery at Bernstein. And Chad, I was jumping up and down about this because when I think through the implications of a bearish turn for corn and ethanol, I'm thinking about Iowa caucuses. I'm thinking about politics. I'm thinking about there's so much that could potentially go into this. So tell us what you see uh, looming. Yeah, absolutely. So over the long term, uh, EV adoption is going to be a negative for agriculture companies. Um, ethanol accounts for about 10% of all gasoline consumption. And for every EV that gets on the road, uh, you're knocking out about 50 gallons of ethanol. So assuming uh, the penetration continues to increase, that means it's the structural impairment of ethanol. It also means that you probably need less acres to grow corn. Um, so U.S. corn land, it's about you know, 90 million acres in the U.S. And you know 40% of all U.S. domestic corn production goes into ethanol. So if the EV transition actually plays out, as expected, we need 10% fewer corn acres. And that means you probably need a smaller ag equipment fleet. And so I think the addressable market potentially shrinks by about 10%. Um, and the earnings power of these companies fall by a similar amount. And yeah. it probably represents from an equity value basis, you know, 10 to 15% downside. Yeah, so I just want to restate your, your finding there so everyone catches it, that corn acreage could be down 10%. Uh, headwind for companies like Deer, that was the mystery chart we teased. Why is it that that acreage wouldn't just go to soybeans or go to something else that would be, you know, it, where the ag sector would be indifferent? Yeah, look, it's it's absolutely possible. Um, there are a couple of alternatives. So there's renewable diesel that could potentially soak up about eight million acres. Um, there's uh, bioethylene, and then there's also also ethanol-based uh, sustainable aviation fuel. But the challenge with a lot of those is that the economics aren't exactly there. In some cases, um, the tax credits are, aren't available. Yeah. So, is it? I mean, because we could also be talking about a reduction in farm income broadly. I mean, it, literally an ag GDP, if it's not offset by something. That's why I'm suspicious or, or wondering, I mean, won't farmers be able to turn, uh, be innovative and, and able to look for other cash crops that could supplant that, so to speak? Yeah, I mean, I think that'd be possible. I mean, I think one, uh, one potential opportunity for them uh, to benefit is through precision agriculture, uh, which would actually improve the economics of farmers, and it'll probably go to the, the much larger farmers. Um, let's talk about Deer specifically, which is kind of the, the big name here. Shares are down 15% in the past three months. Why is that primarily, do you think? Yeah, so we've been actually cautious on the ag cycle. Uh, it really comes down to the fact that, you know, relative to normalized levels, um, demand's way higher, so the company's over earning. Um, and then secondly, if you look at just like farm economics, um, just, you know, farmer profitability has come down pretty significantly um, over this past year. And the challenge is, you know, this year's profits buy next year's equipment. So it's looking increasingly like we're you know, around peak ag for uh, for deer and in the broader ag equipment cycle. Why would we be at peak ag? Where? Why would we be facing a, a demand reduction in the next couple of years? Uh, so farmers just uh, don't have the cash to actually buy equipment. Uh, that's really what it comes down to. Um, they make that decision that way. And so I think, you know, if you're looking at, you know, where demand would be for, for 2024, it'll probably be down. Interesting. And then finally, we... You know, we look at deer, but there are other names. Agco, for instance, 100 percent of its revenues are exposed to agriculture. Who else? Yeah, so I think the, the main ag equipment names, obviously, there's deer, um, there's Agco um, in the U.S. Also, there's, there's C-Nation Industrial.